Continuing what would have been Crude River, but we decided to take a break. We're not Crarch! <laughs> it's not Crarch because I put Blaster here in February. Yeah. <laughs> so this is going to just be uh, the Critters retrospective until we get it done. Critter 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 Critter. For four weeks it's going to be nothing but Critters. We're two weeks in now. Yep. And this time we're reviewing, of course, Critters 2. Which the cover art is on there if you can get it in there. Do it. Oh, 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 God. There it is. Creators. <laughs> this one is directed by uh, the creator of the television show Masters of Horror, what? Mick Garris, who has directed a lot of garbage <laughs> with a few good movies sprinkled in there. <laughs> exactly. Um, a lot of the cast from the first movie returns in this one. Um, some of them don't. There's some new faces. But uh, the basic plot of this movie is, you know, pretty silly, but it works. <laughs> An old man buys critter eggs on this young punk guy yeah. who's not in the movie at all. You think he's going to be like the main like, antagonist for Brad, but he doesn't really show up to the very end of the movie. <laughs> and he sells them to this guy, and he starts selling them as Easter eggs. Oh, no. Don't do this. And uh, so they put them out for Easter celebration. And then they start hatching out, and all hell breaks loose once again. There's the critters return. That's pretty much the whole part. <laughs> but you also have the bounty hunters coming back. With Charlie's with them this time. And all the real Charlie. Yes. Not the the other guy. Yeah, the real Charlie. They they come back to Earth to destroy the crots. Crots. <laughs> <laughs> Which are the critters. Also, there's one part where one of them turns into a girl, and she's naked. She's like this. Kill Kreutz! <laughs> he also turns into the guy who, I don't know if you noticed, he turns into the guy, I don't know if you noticed this, was Mandark from Dexter's Lab. Oh, yeah, he's yeah! Like, he's like, kill Kreutz! <laughs> <laughs> and then he also tries to turn into... Freddy Krueger! Yes. There's a lot of references to other horror movies in this movie. <laughs> and he turns like, no! No big mm -hmm. that magazine! <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's the basic plot of the movie. I mean, it's very, very, very simple. <laughs> There's a couple... Parts that I'm like, what? All right, so <laughs> let's get into it. What did you think of Critters Two? I think it was pretty good. I like it a lot. Now this is the one as a kid that I watched all the daggum time. Like, this thing came on Sci-Fi Channel so daggum much. So this is the one I, that I remember watching as a kid. I haven't. I've never watched the Critters movies until now. Weird experiences. Bone rubber goodness. Yep. <laughs> we'll start talking about some of the aspects of the movie. I want to start by this one right here. Um, I, I don't know. No disrespect to the Chodos, because I love the Chodo brothers. I, and I don't know if they did the effects for Critters 2 or not. But whoever did improve the makeup effects tenfold. Yeah. Like, I think the Critters look absolutely amazing in this movie. <laughs> they also have a King Critter. They do have a King Critter. Just like in the first movie. Yeah, I mean, like, Wait, wrong thing. we could, we could, we could sit here and talk about the acting in the movie all day, but like for a movie like Critters, it doesn't really matter. No, I mean, like the only reason you're watching this movie is to watch 
the critters. Yeah, eat stuff and cuss people out and, <laughs> and roll them to balls and, and talk about hamburgers. <laughs> talk about hamburgers a lot in this movie, which I felt was a reference to Gremlins. Yeah. Did you feel that like the scene where they're in the restaurant, like and stuff flying everywhere? I was like, like, I've seen this. Yeah, before. and then there's also a scene where the old lady goes into the kitchen and there's a critter in the refrigerator. Mm. It seemed like, like you know, like Big Garrett's referenced a lot of horror movies in this movie. Like, very beginning of the movie, the guy's walking with the old man, and the dog's like, oh, like, oh God, it's Kojo! You know. Big Garrett's is definitely a fan, a, a genre fanboy, to so to say, you know? <laughs> but, um. I never noticed that. What was some of the stuff you liked about this movie, man? Oh, what, what isn't there to like about this? But, here, I hear some complaints. Like, the one. The one boy in this movie, the one uh, teenager, not the main character, but the one you were talking about. The bully. Like, yeah, the bully. He kind of gets on my nerves. Yeah, but that's the thing about it. It's like they have this big confrontation at this restaurant that sparks off the love interest in the film, of course. You know, that's how it always happens. Yeah. She try, he tries to protect her and almost gets his butt kicked. She saves and ends up saving him, and then yeah, they fall in love. That's how it goes in most of these movies. Yeah. He shows up there, and you're like, all right, he's going to be showing up through the movie causing trouble. But no. The next time he shows up is the very last end of the movie. To help him try to destroy uh, the crots. <laughs> I, I don't know. That was weird. I thought that was a... Uh, strange movie. Yeah, strange. Like I didn't even understand why he was even in the movie except for to sell the, the critter's eggs. I'm going to sell these critter eggs. Now I'm going to push you in the restaurant. I don't know if you remember this part of the movie, but part of the movie that I... <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> and now I'm saving the world. The, the part of the movie that I thought was the funniest for me was when the little girl was in her room and the critter egg hatches underneath her bed yeah. and is running around and the dad walks in because she's coughing a lot. Yeah, oh yeah. In, and just steps on it. Like, <laughs> she's like, oh honey, I just killed your, your Easter candy. I'm, I'm so sorry. And he like, picks his head puts it. That's the most that I think is funny. The confrontation between the critters about the food. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, let's go eat live flesh and they're like oh no they're rolling down the hill and then it was king critter hamburgers no bones they're like yeah <laughs> they just start rolling the best thing about them rolling is to tell they're just people off camera like these balls like just chucking them down hills yeah. and stuff <laughs> <laughs> or they just roll them into a ball and yeah. roll them down the hill now uh one aspect of the movie, I think this is the first time it showed up, was uh, um, the first time that they made the big critter <laughs> ball, where they joined together to make one giant oh critter. Oh, God. <laughs> which is yeah, pretty cool. Huh? Pretty <laughs> you gotta pay attention. <laughs> Sorry. Here. The critter ball, the big critter ball. Yeah, the big critter ball. That was pretty cool. I like that. I was one that, uh, this minor spoiler when the critter ball runs over the person it turns into a skeleton oh yeah <laughs> I, this movie is it's more of a comedy to me well so was the first one yeah like the one moment in the movie spoiler minor spoiler um that I, I, that I always thought was the funniest in the moment as a kid that I always like I always loved is when they get inside the Easter Bunny's costume <laughs> now if you think about it this is one of the few Easter based horror movies like yeah. if you're looking for a movie to watch on Easter, there's not a whole lot of them. But this one, there's Critters too. There's Easter Bunny Kill Kill, <laughs> and that might be it. <laughs> Isn't Easter Bunny Kill Kill a literally horror movie? A literal, a real horror movie, not a horror comedy. Ah, uh, depends how you look at it. I've never watched it. It's a pretty cool movie. It's an independent film. It's not what we're reviewing, but I guess I can talk about it real quick. Yeah, there's a, there's an independent film that's Trent Hogg in it called Easter Bunny Kill Kill. That's a pretty. Pretty cool Easter film. <laughs> Isn't it a guy dressed up as the Easter Bunny? Yeah, people? and he's killing people. <laughs> killing these bad people, though. But yeah, that's not another new critters, but you know, that's a shout out to the Easter based horror film. But this is one of the only ones, man. Like I said, they played like every Easter on Sci Fi Channel, so I saw it, you know, <laughs> so dang much. I wish they still knew it. Yeah, it's not funny what it once was. <laughs> now it's about the new modern movies. Mm. I mean, like, it's hard to talk about this movie because, like, it is kind of like. It's a good movie. I enjoy it a lot. But there's just... There's not a lot of stuff in it that, like, is above average. <laughs> you know? Like the acting, the music, and stuff like yeah. that. It's all, I mean, it's all good, but... None of it's, you know, none of it stands... 
out. Like, yeah, it's not like you're watching Citizens Kane, which I don't really like that movie because everybody references it as the best movie ever made. Yeah. What? I don't know. But uh, what did you think about the makeup effects? We talked about a little bit. We didn't talk about a lot of. <laughs> not a lot of gore in this movie. No. But a lot of critter death. Like a lot of critters yeah. blowing up and green slime flying everywhere. I think it's actually pretty good. It's yeah. I like it's, that the critter's eyes blow. Yeah. Also, uh, we're talking about this one. I think some of the effects is, are kind of better because they're not low budget. Well, I think it was low budget, but you know. Not really, really low budget. Like the first one, they couldn't afford like 10 critters. I mean, that's honestly the truth, though. That's not a lie. <laughs> that's the true story. Yeah. Now, uh, what do you, which one do you like better? I think... I think this one takes the cake. I like this one better, too. Yeah. I think it, it's improvement on the first one. Not saying the first one's bad, just saying I like this one better. <laughs> we got All three. Right. Alright. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave that in, because it's time to eat. And we're done with this review. We're gonna give it a five. I'll give it a... <laughs> <laughs> that, was a long, that was a long thing there, man. <laughs> Just pick it out of five. Three and a half. Three and a half. That's exactly what I'm going to give it. Three and a half. Good movie. We like it. What up in me? <laughs> now we're gonna both going to go eat some supper. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that was a decaying monkey. Um, oh. We're, we're going to go eat some supper and watch Critters 3. So you can get ready for what I'm assuming is going to be the first really bad Critters movie. Uh-oh. Oh, no. It's got Leonardo DiCaprio in it. Yeah. He's leaving. <laughs> Bye, Matt. The fish has jumped.